गुड आफ्टरनून जी आई एम डॉक्टर जसकरण सिंह हीरो एंड स्पाइन सर्जन एट मणिपाल हॉस्पिटल पटियाला टुडे आई एम हेयर टू डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग अ वेरी कॉमन बैक प्रॉब्लम विद यू पीपल एंड द प्रॉब्लम इज नोन एज लंबर कैनाल सिनोसिस सो बेसिकली वट इज लंबर कैनाल सिनोसिस द इश्यू इज दैट द लंबर कैनाल थ्रू विच ऑल द नर्व गो फ्रॉम द ब्रेन टू द लेग्स एंड हैंड्स दैट कैनाल गेट्स नैरो बिकॉज ऑफ सम प्रॉब्लम सो कैनाल सिनोसिस इज बेसिकली वेन द डायमीटर ऑफ द कैनाल रिड्यूस एंड कॉज इज कंप्रेशन ऑफ द नर्व सो वट आर द सिम्टम्स ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम सिम्टम्स आर वेन यू हैव लो बैक पेन विद रेडिएशन ऑफ पेन टू बायोलिट्रल लोअर लिम्स एंड नमनेस ऑफ फीट एंड लेग्स एंड दिस पेन टिपिकली इंक्रीजेज ऑन वॉकिंग और स्टैंडिंग सो दीज आर द कॉमन सिम्टम्स विद विच लंबर कैनाल सिनोसिस प्रेजेंट्स it is uh, the main uh, issue regarding lumbar canal stenosis is that there is a very common problem with increasing age so now the main causes of lumbar canal stenosis are uh, degenerative changes which uh, cause degeneration of the disc and the joints result in narrowing of the canal with age uh, but the main reason which uh, results in lumbar canal stenosis is basically repetitive trauma now trauma can be in form of uh, improper posture having uh, doing heavy uh, load physical activity heavy uh, picking up something very heavy uh, repetitively especially doing uh, unsupervised exercises in the gym and uh, having history of uh, frequent fall or a roadside accident so these uh, problems lead to uh, rep- repetitive trauma lead to narrowing of the lumbar canal which causes stenosis now when a person has a diameter of lumbar canal less than 10 mm then generally we define it as critical stenosis and then generally uh, the person needs treatment for that so what are the t- uh, how do we diagnose lumbar canal stenosis generally it is diagnosed uh, after taking history and examining the patient and doing an mri of the spine so mri clearly shows that the lumbar canal stenosis a lumbar canal has become narrow and then uh, we uh, depending on the problem and the severity of the symptoms we advise treatment to the patient so now the forms of treatment which are available first we have medicines first we try to reduce the pain with medicines physical therapy physiotherapy regular exercises generally we suggest isometric exercises non weight bearing lower back exercises yoga is also good for uh, lower back and if the pain is not relieved with these medicines then uh, medicines and physiotherapy then we can move ahead to uh, steroid injections in the lower back and last is surgery which is uh, surgery suggested for cases which do not respond to medicines and other conservative measures overall the success rate of surgery in lumbar canal stenosis is pretty good and patients can walk freely after surgery and they regain their uh, daily uh, lifestyle uh, in a very uh, good manner after surgery so lumbar canal stenosis is a very common uh, age related problem but uh, it is treatable and uh, we can help you with that if there is any symptom pertaining to the lumbar canal stenosis if you are having that thank you